Marissa here at Camry Nursery and Florist, and I'm here today with Zoe. Zoe. And what are we making today, Zoe? We're made, making an edible boathouse. Yeah. So we know some of you kiddos are a little tired of being inside, so we thought we would might want to bring the adventure to your own backyard. And by making our edible birdhouses, <laughs> by making our edible birdhouses, we can actually bring birds and we can start watching, looking at different critters that come into your backyard. So, Zoe, what are some things that you need to survive? Hmm. Something to eat, something to Watch drink. This <laughs> and water. Um, and then when you wake up, you have a shelter. So you need shelter. You need, sh so I heard you need a shelter, you need water, and you need food. Do you think birds need the same thing? They absolutely do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give them a shelter. We're gonna give them food. And you can also make your backyard friendly by having maybe a bird bath or giving them some water. That's pretty cool, huh? So let's talk supplies. The first thing we're gonna need is we're going to need an edible glue for your birdhouse. So what are we using for edible glue? That's peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. So there's lots of recipes online that there's different ways to make it, um, but using like corn syrup and cor corn starch. And some of us are stuck at home and might not be able to go to the grocery store and get that, but I think everybody has peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll need the birdhouse as well as some bird seeds and maybe even some decor. What did we pick for decor today? We picked um, purple moss, um, green moss, and Spanish moss would be just like plain. Yeah, exactly. So Zoe's gonna show us how to get started. What is our first step? Peanut butter you spread all along. All right, can you show us how? to um, pe um, peanut butter, you could use any like dried fruit or anything else that you might see that it could work out for your board house. Yeah, because Zoe used our finch mix that we have here at the nursery that has sunflower seeds, millet, and thistle, and some canary seed. Um, but like she was saying, you can use some other things at your house, maybe some oatmeal, some dried fruit like raisins, mm -hmm. Um, so there's lots of different options there. And then the last step is you'll have to find a place in your like in your backyard to hang so it. So we were thinking if you have a cat or walking dog that likes to walk at boards, you can um, put it on like a higher tree branch you, um, so your dog can't jump that high. Or if you have a cat that likes to chase um, boards you can use a bell on your cat um to make sure oh uh, if this cat got the my board or like squirrels could eat off it so maybe you want to put on a tree that you don't have squirrels on Exactly. I couldn't have said it better. You're wanting, if you're wanting to invite birds into your backyard, you're going to want to make it a, a safe environment for them to be in. And then, like we were saying before, you're bringing an adventure to you. So you can use this as a great learning opportunity. Maybe you can journal every time you see a different type of bird. Yeah, you could get binoculars to see it. If you spot one, you can mock it down as one. Yeah, or draw it. So there's so many things you can learn. You can from mock down the name. Ooh, the name, look it up, maybe learn the songs that it sings. 
something like that. So there's so many things you can do. Um, and we just want to thank you for tuning in and get ready to watch our next video. We might have another special appearance from And Ms. I'll be in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.